I become passionate about helping men because they have no idea how this is healing, how beautiful this can be for the female partner when the male knows and has these skills and has this ability. Pleasure is medicine. It really transformed my life, changed my life path. I'm working less as a nurse and more tantra coaching because these are the tools that really open hearts. I assisted a lot with open heart surgery, did a lot of cardiac care. The heart always fascinated me. I was like, this is what opens hearts. This is what changes lives. I was frustrated taking care of people at the end of their life when they had regret and fears and things that had held them back. All I can do is hold compassion for them at a moment, but there's nothing I can do to change their life path or to change the outcome of their life. Now I have a tool where I can meet them when they're younger and change the course of their life. And maybe with my holistic nutrition and things like that, I teach them, keep them out of the hospital and help them live more fulfilled, passionate lives. So that's, that changed my whole life path just through that experience. So how did, how did it come to Napoleon Hill? Okay. Napoleon Hill, this is, Tantra is the art of transmutation. Nikola Tesla had studied Tantra as well. So Nikola Tesla, Einstein, Thomas Edison, they were able to tap into their creative genius through transmutation. Our sexual energy is our most creative energy. It is our life force energy. We were created from energy. So we can create the life that we desire by knowing how to focus this energy. So it's like you have your energy and if you have a light bulb and it's just a hundred watt light bulb, it can light up the room. But if you know how to focus the energy, so if you get that same hundred watts and you focus it into a laser light, it could cut through steel. Completely different because you know how to focus it. So with transmutation, you use techniques. I teach my clients breath work, how to strengthen your pelvic floor. I teach them the massaging so they do lengthen and get more sensation and arousal to that area. And I teach them how to tap into that energy, how to connect with it, to know how to increase it and build it, get rid of energy leaks and how to circulate it through their body. And then not to lose all that vital nutrition and life force. Now males, when it goes outward and they have that body fluid loss, that's going to have to be rebuilt and replaced and they have to build up reserve again, which takes more energy. Then they feel more drained and then they fall asleep more quickly. So when you are constantly mindless and not aware of it, When you're always losing your life essence and your creative energy, your life force energy, you're just throwing it away. Now, I train with Master Montauk Chia, who's been teaching this for 40 years. He teaches the ancient Taoist practices, and I teach that as well. Ancient Taoist techniques, they believe that the reason that the female lifespan on average is longer than males is because males lose a lot of their life force energy. Transmutation is law of attraction. And turbocharging your law of attraction and what you're wanting and what your passions and your desires and your goals are and fueling that with your life force energy and using your intention. And so being smart and focused about where you're putting your life force, where you're putting your most creative energy, where you're directing it. Then you actually have that extra oomph to go for your goals, to grab life fully and live passionately and not always be like drained and depleted and building yourself back up again. I'm addicted. I'm going to have this habit. Now I don't have the motivation to do what I wanted to do. I'm just going to go fall asleep. Now I'm going to go grab a beer. And then what are you going to do at the end of your life? How are you going to feel when you take your last breath? You're going to waste all of your potential. Are you going to not connect with people and have good relationships? Are you not going to have a good relationship with yourself? And the other thing I teach my clients, number one, self-love. You are your longest lasting relationship from your first breath to your last breath. So work on that. You deserve your love more than anyone else. And a lot of times how our inner world impacts our outer world and how you care about yourself and love yourself is going to be how you have relationships with other people. If you want to improve with your relationships with the people around you, work on the relationship with yourself. 